While this idea, of course, seems reasonable in our established, oriented world view, it is, unfortunately, another fallacy. For when it really comes down to what is actually important, the institution of politics and thus politicians themselves have absolutely no true relevance as to what makes our world and society function. Very few people today stop and consider what it is that actually improves their lives. Is it money? Obviously not. One cannot eat money or stuff money into their car to get it to run. Is it politics? All politicians can do is create laws, establish budgets, and declare war. Is it religion? Of course not. Religion creates nothing except intangible emotional solace for those who require it. The true gift that we as human beings have, which has been solely responsible for everything that has improved our lives, is technology. What is technology? Technology is a pencil which allows one to solidify ideas on paper for communication. Technology is an automobile which allows one to travel faster than feet would allow. Technology is a pair of eyeglasses which enables sight for those who need it. Applied technology itself is merely an extension of human attributes which reduces human effort freeing humans from a particular chore or problem. Imagine what your life would be like today without a telephone or an oven or a computer or an airplane. Everything in your home which you take for granted from a doorbell to a table to a dishwasher is technology generated from the creative scientific ingenuity of human technicians. Not money, politics or religion. These are false institutions. It's not politicians that can solve problems. They have no technical capabilities. They don't know how to solve problems. Even if they were sincere, they don't know how to solve problems. It's the technicians that produce the desalinization plants. It's the technicians that give you electricity, that give you motor vehicles, that heat your house and cool it in the summertime. It's technology that solves problems, not politics. Politics cannot solve problems because they're not trained to do so. If you have more money to advertise your position, the position you desire in government, that isn't a democracy. It serves those in positions of differential advantage. So it's always the dictatorship of the elitists, the financially wealthy.